Good morning, stock traders. This is the Stock Sumo with BlueHorseshoeStocks.com, and today is Wednesday, April 17th, and we're going to look at ASUV trading on the OTC markets, Harmonic Energy Inc. And we put this one on our watch list yesterday, and we said, watch it for a possible dead cat bounce. Sure enough, we saw the big bounce yesterday. And it looks like this thing is just starting to get going, coming off of its 52-week low. Notice how the RSI has been heavily oversold, and now that RSI is pointing back north. I'd like to see this RSI continue to come off of being oversold. And if we can get above the 50-day moving average, currently sitting at 33.45, that will be a good sign. I'd like to see that RSI continue to head north, make its way past that 50-day moving average, and get above the 50 line. Looking at the PPO, currently you have the PPO that is getting ready to hook up. It looks like these lines are starting to uh, show a hint of convergence I'd like to see this crossover notice we also have the histogram that looks like it is topped out to its negative side and looks like it's starting to turn back around and looks like it's gonna start to taper off to the negative side I'd like to see the histogram flip over and I'd like to see these bars go positive to the bullish side notice this huge volume and we've seen some big volume as we saw the sell-off and we saw the bottom set in here. Now we've gotten the upturn, and we're still seeing an increased volume. We're seeing some increased buying pressure. We got the slow stow currently pinching, getting ready for a crossover here. I'd like to see these lines cross and then diverge, split apart. That's going to be a good sign. I'd also like to see the slow stow turn up and get, get above that 50-day moving average here at 2153 so all in all you got a great bounce setup I'd like to see this one continue to move today I'm looking for some more upside we close right near the high of day yesterday which is always a good indicator going into the next trading session and this is gonna bring us to our next one that I wanna put on our watch list today I was doing some scans last night and I ran across this TFER that's Titan Iron Ore Corp and it's it, it looks a lot like the setup that we saw with ASUV it's starting to come off of its 52 week low now let's go back October November range look at the move that this stock had from 20 cents to a dollar 13 so this stock is plenty capable of some big gains notice back then when it had that big move there was some big volume in the stock after that big run up it's been a steady decline and at one point there was a little bit of a pop but it had a tough time getting above the 100 day moving average and the 200 day right there so bumped into some resistance there at the 100 and 200 day and then continued to break down uh, notice it had hovered just under the 20 day moving average where it had some resistance and now we're seeing a bounce off of its 52 week low that 20 day moving average is going to be key resistance if TFER can break through 12 cents which is the 20 day moving average I'm going to be looking for some more upside on TFER notice this PPO is currently pinching this line is starting to hook up and it looks like it's getting ready for a cross that's going to be a very bullish sign just like we have setting up here with a slow stow, this line is getting ready to cross there. And the slow stow is also turning up north. And it looks like it wants to get through the 50-day moving average, currently sitting at 17.41. And you got the slow stow sitting at 16.14. So it's just under that 50-day moving average. I'd like to see this slow stow get positive and get in an uptrend and get through that 50-day and attack that 50 line. That's always a key number. Anytime that we see one of the indicators get through the 50 line, that shows us some serious strength. So we definitely want to keep an eye on ASUV and TFER. We have not been compensated for these plays. 
always visit our disclaimer for disclosure. If we are compensated, it's listed in our disclaimer at our website. These are strictly trade ideas, and I am long a position in ASUV. Don't own any Tefer yet, T-F-E-R, but I am looking to take a position. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to stop by our blog at bluehorseshoestocks.com. Have a good day and good luck, traders.